Uh, this is Rustin Hiromi from Urban Earth Gardens. We're going to show, I've already installed this pipe here. We're going to do another one, um, kind of double up on a couple of videos. This one's got some more angles and show you how we do it. And you can, it's overcast days and a bit rainy, um, about 53-ish degrees. Um, you can do it on sunny days or in the rain. When it's cooler and wetter, I found, or just cooler, they want to stay right in the box and there won't be, won't be a lot of scattering around. So what I've done is I prepare this to come in these four pound packages here. I just get four pound to come in threes or fours. I prefer fours because it's a large number and it helps the hive take off much sooner. So this is the Kirksana uh, syrup. And this is the clean as indication below this here. I'm gonna slide that up and show you. And this is how they are, are arrived from California. <coughs> and this hive is prepared. There are some frames of honey from a couple fire hives, well actually these two in, this, in space, that I just put in here so we'll have some honey right to begin with that made it through, the, that overwintered in the hive. Um, the bees died out, but the, the, the frames are still good. So I'm gonna pull this syrup off and bees will come flying out, so that's normal if you've never done this before. Just gotta slowly work that cage across. Save them, take them down and make a place replace the can and some bees will get a little crushed kind of hard to do but to not have that happen and I'm going to shake them off in the hive I'm going to place them in and they'll have some bees that are feeding her and taking care of her and these are carniolans um, they said rather than Italians because they do the best up here I've seen our bees flying around in the mid upper 40s with rain coming out of all the hives it's a really really hardy breed and I find they, they do the best here so I'm going to place her Actually, what I'm going to do first is to take the cork out and replace it with marshmallows so they'll eat through that to get her out and she's wanting to get out of there. So we're going to be really careful about doing that. She'll be walking, you see her in there, back and forth. She's doing that. She's very active. She's all mated and ready to go, start laying. And all my frames are drawing out so soon they get a big jump start. So you got to carefully pull the plug and, and then cover the hole so she doesn't get out of there. You want her flying off. And then take the marshmallow, see where she is. The beef. There she is. And then, then put that right in there. And those bees will eat this through this and get her out of this cage um, um, probably in a few hours by the end of the day anyway. Some people stay longer, but I've never had it that be that way. And you want to orient the cage so she, the vent is just so they can feed her until they get her out. I always face it towards the entrance and sandwiched in between two frames. And I'm going to bend and, and hook to the side so it hooks on top of one frame. Place it right in there. And then I'm going to grab, let's see if I can get one with honey on it. There we go. And then I'm going to pop this right here. And they're going to like these hives. So oh, actually first, you can do it this way, but I, what I prefer actually first, I'm going to leave her sit right there for a second. Um, I was jumping ahead of myself. We're going to dump the rest, dump the bees inside there. <laughs> there we go. And this seems kind of rough, but they're just fine. You dump them in there. <laughs> right inside. I guess go. They'll get on those frames. They'll get oriented in here and start cleaning. You'll see all this debris because they'll go through. The, even though the, those frames were covered through the winter, they still have debris stuff on them from the hive that died out prior to them. Like so. I'll set it off to the side. And now I'll go ahead and put the queen in there. I want to jump the gun on that. I mean, if you could do it this way, it would be fine. They would just be on top of her. But uh, so you can kind of scoop these down, let them fall down to the bottom. They're just trying to stay clustered and warm. And, and they'll be coming with um, dro drones in there as well as, as mostly workers. So then you want to sandwich the frame back on me you want to put her on the next one over 
Like this, more oriented towards towards the center. Sometimes the frames get a little stuck on the copeless in there. Okay, and then make sure you slide this over snugly, and make sure and double check to make sure that your cage uh, venting for her so the computer is, is facing out, not into the frame. Like so, good. There you go. Okay. Like that. And this one already has some. They'll eat these marshmallows and clean them up. And there's a pollen patty, which is really important to have because they're it's really good nutrition for them. And uh, set these over like so. And then you can put the syrup on top if you want. Um, a lid drip down, but I like to use my <laughs> syrup that I make. And I use this feeder system here. It's the best, least least intrusive to them. Easier for you to check. Um, like in, there's in. You know, frame feeders which are inside that you have to open up the whole hive and pull them out and check or, to, or even just to add and that can be a bit of a hassle so this is a good way to do it and I'm just going to see how well they're that you can tell how much you need to feed them but just by how much they're sucking this down but we have a lot of blooms right now and cherry and, and plum and a lot of other things coming in and it's really helpful for me so that's how I hive put the package in for the new year we've got this one is alive the one on the end of the live that made it through last year. This one's two years old, and that was a split off of it, so it's a very strong strain. And see if I can keep splitting them and, and going further. And we got about 10 gallons off this hive alone last year. So, um, so there you go. And I put this cover on top, this box, make a nice protected area, and it keeps it from robbing some other bees and stuff coming in too much. And good airflow. And this is the way that we put our hives in each year. And uh, I gotta go over and do for someone else. Actually, Mayor Granite Falls is a friend of ours and he got into beekeeping, so I helped him do his. So, um, and, uh, and also as, as well, you wanna make sure you have these uh, entrance reducers on the front when you first put a new hive in. I'm going to open up if it's a little bit wider than this small section here. Um, uh, because this helps keep other invading ties and other things from getting in here. And they'll flying it up that way. There. So, um, hope you enjoyed this little video. We'll put it up on our page. And please leave comments in the comment section or ask questions. And, and uh, happy beekeeping. <laughs> Bye.